if you're a heat nourishing technician or even a salesperson, why do you have to be careful about add-on sales and why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Sivan Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. Let's start from the very beginning. Please make sure to do the right thing, like for real. This video is all about like, hey, you should do the right thing. There is a downside of doing add-on sales, right? Here it is. Let's say that you have a product or service Let's say it's an in, induct air scrubber. And you know the company comes in and says, hey, Tex, we're gonna have a contest and we're gonna sell these induct air scrubbers for 1500 bucks. And whoever can sell the most of them is gonna get a $20 bonus for every one that they sell. It's really easy to want to go into contest mode, which cool, go into contest mode, but I would, I would urge you to remember something. What really matters and what's really important is when you do have these contests, please do something to sell to the client that's going to help them. Like instead of just saying, oh, I'm gonna get bonus out for this, please understand how this thing works. So I worked with a guy. <laughs> I worked with a guy. And this guy at one point was selling all sorts of air scrubbers. And great, except for the fact that one, he didn't know what they did. And two, he misrepresented what they did. And three, well, he was actually lying to clients. And so, Scott, can you go ride with this guy, see what he's doing, see if it gets duplicated, he might be, you know, lightning in a bottle. And then I gotta come back and go, hey, heads up, this guy is actually misrepresenting the company, he's misrepresenting everything that's going on. So we had to put him through training, we had to put him through some coaching, we had to go doing some spot checks. And his numbers dropped off, and then he was like, he got mad and he left. Well, he wasn't doing the right thing for the client. He was selling something for the sake of selling something, and I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. So I've had companies reach out to me and say, hey, Scott, can you train my technicians? We just need some sales. I'm like, cool, do you need sales for the sake of sales? Or do you really care about your clients? And I get the, we care about our clients. I'm like, I'm not interested, not interested. Like, you really gotta have the best interest of your client right here, right? And do the right thing for service. Or otherwise you're just like all the other people out there that just sell stuff for the sake of selling stuff. I said it, right? I might lose consulting gigs, whatever. I'll make plenty of money in my lifetime. Here's the thing, if you wanna be a better technician, you should absolutely <laughs> sign up for HVACTechSecrets.com. It's an email publication. I send out emails. If you don't want emails, don't sign up. <laughs> I'll get you into the Facebook group. There's some free coaching, free training. You'll be okay. So the reason I bring this up is at some point, I get a phone call from somebody that I work with or somebody who knows who I am and says, Scott, I work with a guy, or it could be a girl. I work with a guy. 99.9% .9 of the people who watch my YouTube channel are dudes. I know this from stats. I work with a guy and uh, he's crushing it and he's killing it and he's pushing my numbers down, but the guy's a liar and fraud. That person will get caught. That person will get burned out. It's not your battle. Like my mom says, it's not my coop. It's not my poop, right? My friends say, it's not my monkey. It's not my circus. The reason I bring this up is it can absolutely destroy your process. If you get caught up in what everybody else is doing, then you're breaking the rule of it's me against me first and me against everybody else second, right? I don't worry about what other coaches and trainers do. I don't worry about what other people do. Hey, Scott, did you see this new video? No, I didn't. Hey, did you see that interview? No, I didn't. Why not? I worry about me. Me first, everybody else second, right? I got a better product. How do you know? you never seen it because I got a better product. Well, what about this dude? I don't care. Me first, everybody else second. Well, do you want to see it? You should see it. No, not interested. Don't want any part of it. I'll probably be disappointed. Scott, you, you really got to check this out probably based off of some training that I created, right? So I live this myself too. Well, Scott, this dude's doing it big or this chick's doing it. Who cares? I worry about me, right? How much time do I get to spend in Hawaii? Who do I get to hang out with, right? I, I don't care what they're doing. Please take the same approach. It doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter how they're doing it. It doesn't matter the changes that they've made. You be you. You worry about your morals and ethics. I will worry about me and I'll worry about my morals and ethics. Stay on the right side and do the right thing. If you're going to sell an add-on product, please, please, please make sure that it does something for your client. And if you own a business and you're like, Scott, we can never do business. I'm like, fantastic. I just excluded somebody I should have never done business with. And if you're like, Scott, we should do business, let's connect. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it every time I get a, send out a video, get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.